High school, noun. A secondary school, especially in the United States, usually including grades 9 through 12 and serving students from about 14 to 18 years of age. Typically, high schools offer college preparatory classes for advanced students, general education classes for average students, and remedial courses for those who are struggling. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to high school. Here's the syllabus. Now, we're going to take about 15 minutes and go through it, so you don't have to worry about asking any questions right now. Okay. Yes? This says we have to keep a diary. Yes, a journal. It is required. It's 10% of your grade. A journal? About what? About anything. You can write about the day you're having, a conversation you had with your mom or your sister, whatever you want. And I'll only read the pages that you want me to read. If you write something that's too personal and you don't want me to read it, just fold the page over and write, please do not read this, and I won't read it. Let's get started. The first part of the syllabus is called the requirements. Now, don't throw your syllabus away because you'll need to refer to it throughout the course, okay? Thuman. Vinkins. Winnipeg. You have five minutes from the bell to get ready, got it?
How was school today? Did you make any new friends? No, I didn't make any friends. Guess I wasn't cool enough. Hey, Miss Pope. I'm the diet challenge kid who sits in the front seat. I'm probably bigger now than I was this morning because your class is right after lunch. I wanted to sit in the back so you don't have to constantly hear. We can't see you around Jimmy. And I don't get teachers. Why do you guys pile it on the first day of school? Can't you let us get used to the idea that summer is really over? Three half pages a week is tough. Why don't you just ask us to write the great American novel and say it's due in June? Middle school sucked. Except for leaving Paul, I'm glad we moved. And that I'm in high school. Maybe things will be different. Or at least I hope so. I don't know anyone here, except for Nate. We went to elementary school together. Didn't think I'd ever see him again. My sister, she goes here too. She's okay with the new school, she already knows people here. I did sit with the blonde girl at lunch. She seems nice. And Rob the quarterback. He's in my PE class. There's my half page. I still don't know why we have to do this stupid journal. I ride the same bus as you. Oh yeah? Where do you sit? I sit in the back. Well, I'm gonna get dessert. The cookies here are the best. Do you have to be so noisy? You have to be so ugly? Mom! Be nice. Have fun on the bus. Are you sure Jimmy can't ride with you? Mom, there's only so much room. Besides, he takes up two seats. Jessica! You're in here? Yeah. I was in Smith's class. I heard he's easy. That's why I changed. <laughs> I have to sharpen my pencil. I, uh, I have to keep a sharp pencil for my notes. But we have to do our journal and pen, though. I hate using pen. Journal? Oh, <laughs> we have to keep the stupid journal. Wasting trees, I say. I like journals. I can say what I really feel. I like to write poems and use big words. I think I'm euphemistic. Oh, I'm sorry. All right, everyone, get out your homework. 
This is Roger Presley reporting from the intersection of Brown and Madison, the last known location of Kimberly Taylor, a 17-year-old from Hanover. According to friends and family, she was on her way home from band practice walking through this neighborhood when she disappeared. I was watching that. Let's find her. Who her? The missing girl. Then we could be famous. <laughs> You're kidding, right? Are you kidding? It would solve all of our problems. It would get me out of the house. Uh, I've got enough stuff to do already. Think about it, dude. Soon she'll have turned up and we'll have missed our chance. Paul and Jimmy. Teen dicks. <laughs> that means detectives. <laughs> I'm not stupid. <laughs> Right now I'm sitting in my room writing my half the page. Today Paul came over to eat pizza and watch TV. I still think this journal's a waste of time. I mean, who cares about my boring life? Hey, stupid! Yeah, you. Don't you know? This is our spot. I didn't know. Hey, cutie. Is this your locker room? Look at that chest. <laughs> it's bigger than Whitney's. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you like a D cup? What's going on in here? Nothing, coach. Just chatting with the new kid. Well, hurry up, get dressed. Hey guys, I was thinking, maybe we should change our mascot to the big round blueberries. <laughs> All right, everybody. Make sure we got our homework out. We're going to be studying the chapter on elements and compounds. Everybody needs to know where we are. All right. Hey, so Jimmy, did you do your homework last night? Right, so I need to make sure I got mine right. No, where you, all your stuff is, it's over here. We'll hand it over. <laughs> I want to make sure. Yeah, man. Mr. Larson, uh, is this answer the right thing? Yeah, that looks fun. Yeah, you're doing, you're doing great. Okay, you're all set. Winter Park. What's the definition of a compound? It's, um, it's uh, when two elements combine. Did you do your homework? Yes, sir. Where is it? Did your dog eat it? No, sir. It's, um, I just don't have it with me. Well, when you get it back, I don't want it. You can keep it. All right, anyway, let's not forget Monday. We've got the lab, okay? Bring all your I wasn't stuff finished. To Winter be. Park, turn around, you knucklehead. That's a detention. I will see you after school. All right, let's go. Let's go over the homework for everybody to actually go out there to school with them, okay? I couldn't write her out, Mom. She copied your homework and you protected her. Why? I don't know. She's my friend. Well, you need better friends. She's really cool. She probably just got home late from cheerleading practice or something. Well, okay. I guess you can't write out your friends. A dark cloud still hangs over this community. It's been one month since Kimberly Taylor disappeared and one week since her body was found in a wooded area. Hey, hon. Finish your homework? Yeah. I sure hope they find her killer. I can't imagine how her mother feels. Or even 30 pounds? If so, then we have a new product just for you. Introducing Thermoslim, a 
revolutionary new weight loss product guaranteed to take inches off your weight. Jimmy, I'm Dr. Jeffords. So it's here we're doing your annual checkup. Yeah, I guess. Playing any sports this year? Um, no. But I'm in the jazz band. Jimmy, what I'm going to do is I'm going to check your lungs. What I want you to do is take in a deep breath for me. Breathe in. Breathe out. In. Out. Sounds good there. Jimmy, do you ever find yourself getting winded or, or tired or short of breath for no reason? No reason? Um, not really. Maybe a little. Really? How are things at school? Everything at school okay? School's okay. W well, you know, I guess things could be a bit better. Yeah, how so? Well, it's kind of hard to make friends. Yeah, school can be tough. Jimmy, it says here that you're 14. Yes, sir. You're 188 pounds. Well, well I guess I'm a bit overweight. kids in school, except for a few, and my, my teacher, they say things, mean things. Jimmy, I was picked on a lot as a kid, the jocks and the cool kids, they were always teasing me. And I didn't know how to deal with the pain. So I would eat. I'd eat when I was happy. I'd eat when I was sad. Eat when I was bored. But no matter what, I was always left feeling empty. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Like, I'm sure you are a great kid. Well, Lacey's a fat kid. Truth is, if you don't lose the weight, it'll never stop. And believe me, that'll be the least of your troubles. I promise you that. I write a lot. I have a lot to say, don't you? 
sometimes. But you always fold them down so Miss P can't read them. So what's the point? I read them. Oh. <laughs> well, do you, do you write about guys? All right, everyone. Time to turn in your journals. I wrote about how teachers always give tests on Friday. <laughs> they think their class is the only one. We do? Please don't read this page. Last Friday when I was sitting in the pep rally, I might as well have been alone in my room. Usually at school I'm invisible. Except when someone wants to laugh at me. Not then. That's when I'm really in the spotlight. And the more they say things about me, the more I think that what they say might be true. That I am a loser. That I don't matter. And if I wasn't here, no one would even notice. Don't they know that I'm a good person? That I'd love to be one of them? To hear the cheers because I'm on the team. Because I'm popular. They have everything, but they make fun of me. The fat kid. All I can hear is Rob talking about my chest. Apparently, he comes to school to play football and to make my life miserable. When mom came in to say goodnight, I had to pretend I was asleep, so she wouldn't see me crying. Hey! You need a joggy, buddy? Come on, let's go! Come on! So you talk to her once and you like her. Right on. Hey, you want some advice from the master of love? Yeah, but do you know someone like that? <laughs> He's kicking your butt right now. <laughs> you suck. What's she look like? Well, she has a black sweater, black shirt, black shoes. What, are you in love with Darth Vader? <laughs> So is she, you know. What? You know, <laughs> big, like you? Actually, no. She's actually thin. Probably too thin, though. That could be a problem, even for the master of love. Hey, Sable, do you see the news? About that girl? <laughs> That's where I used to live. Well, maybe she just ran away. Maybe she got so sick of everyone that she had to leave or she knew. All right, um, so, so are you going to the game tonight? Football's for Neanderthals. Yeah, but it's, it's homecoming. Alan will be there. We can see the freshman float. Makes it even worse. He was 
Pope, guess what? Sable went with me and Alan to the homecoming parade. The theme was, reach for the stars, but it should have been, let's boo and terrorize the freshman float. I almost caught one of those little footballs of cheerleaders thrown into the crowd. And I met the mayor. And even though Sable doesn't really like football, I still think she's pretty cool. You know, if you ever want to talk about being euphemistic, I'm a good listener. <laughs> That's so sweet. Hey, Miss Pope. Today was pretty good. Man, I'm sore from working out. Did you see the game last night? My fingers hurt from playing Guitar Hero. I have a lot to say, but I'm Mr. Really Larsen is crazy. Don't, don't tell him that, though. Please don't read this page. Man, today was tough. I wish I was an only child. Hey, Miss Pope. Please don't read this page. I feel alone. I am alone. I wish I could be invisible. Would anyone care? They have everything. I am invisible. Hey, Miss Pope. Today was sunny. What's the point of playing the game if there are cheat codes? I will ever understand. Have to study. Me. Today was hot. Hey, Miss Pope. Please don't read this page. Am I the only one who feels this way? Please don't read this page. 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 The kids make fun of me. School sucks. Does it ever get better? Being a kid is hard. Please don't read this page. School sucks. Today I don't feel like writing. School sucks. School sucks. School sucks. Hey, Miss Pope. Made an A. Today was cold. It was a all night studying. Hey, Miss Pope. Today was rainy. Hey, Miss Pope. Jog this morning? I've lost 14 pounds. Really? That is great, Jimmy. All right, I have to head to the airport. I'll see you guys in a few days. Hmm? This is gonna be fun, all right? And yes, this counts as a test grade. All right, now look, you can work with a partner, you can work by yourself, or if you're schizophrenic, you can do both. Yeah? Are these traps new? Eh, most of them. Some of them might be left over from last year's uh, cafeteria catastrophe. Uh, I'm just kidding. All right, so anyway, everybody gets a new mouse trap. All right, farthest car wins. And you got to be careful. These things are dangerous. Jimmy, can I be your no. part? So, uh, how about this weekend? Friday night? I'll think about it. Hey, Jimmy. Coach says he needs a trainer for the team. What do you say? You want to give it a shot? Okay. After school, you, you got to come down to the locker room and meet some of the guys. What? Uh, you got to talk to Coach. See what you have to do. It won't take long. Friday? Maybe. Watch this. Everyone has to go. What's up? Go! Yeah! yeah. That's right. Man, that guy was crazy. Yeah, and uh, he's a trainer for the team. Oh no, I am not doing that. Come on, don't worry.
Winter Park? There's no one here. Hang in there. Maybe they'll grow up one day. I did. You keep doing what you're doing. Don't think I haven't noticed. You'll be all right. Come on. How could you do that? What? It was funny. Well, Jimmy's okay with it. How would you know? When have you ever been made fun of? <laughs> you didn't have to do that. Yes, I did. And I will never go out with a jerk like you! I think I'm gonna invite Sable to church. Yeah, man. I wanna check her out. Okay, okay. No checking. Sounds cool. Ah, you know, not much different. My teachers suck. Someone told me you got suspended for a couple days. Who? Well? Well, what? Well, did you get suspended? Man, bet your mom freaked. My mom? She was so drunk when the principal called that she didn't even remember by the time I got home. I left every morning and acted like I was going to school. Wow. My mom killed me. Twice. What you writing about? Stuff. School, nothing really. Why? What time? For what? A church on Wednesday. You asked me to go with you. You can go? We'll be reading this for the next month. Have the first chapter read by Monday. Where do you live? We'll come by and get you. She said she'd go. Cool. She can witness your utter destruction and foosball. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Anyways, um, what, what's it like to kiss a girl? Hey, I read this. Guess what they're gonna call you. I know. Saw it on page five. Can't wait. You know, I think my dad might lose his job. Oh, man. Yeah. It looks like I might have to move in with my uncle. He's an even bigger trunk than my dad. Hey, good news is, he lives close to here. Cool. You know, they still haven't found out who killed that girl. I don't care what they say, it's not the boyfriend. I say we get the killer. What do you mean, get? You know, like lure him out. Do you have any pictures of your sister? Oh, and about kissing Sable? It's nice. You should try it. <laughs> and now, Sable, you get to watch me kill Jimmy at foosball. Foosball? I will own you at foosball. <laughs> <laughs> He let you win. Jimmy's nice like that, but I'm not. Move, loser. Bring it on. Let's do this. What 
happened to your arms? Where'd you get all those cuts? Hey, guys! You all ready? Here, you're going with us. Dear Miss Pope, life is hard. Piggy. Piggy. Wait a minute. I don't know about this. How do you know to work? Everybody's on MySpace. Besides, she's so hot, or will be. Photoshop's great. Photoshop? Yeah, man. She'll have a huge rack, big lips. <laughs> Tough looking, sexy. Oh my god, I'm dead. We're good. We're smart. Oh, and what's her name? Star? Dude, she look. She looks like a hooker. Kidnappers like hookers. Look, if we don't get a bite in a couple of weeks, then I'll take it off. Couple of weeks? Relax. You worry too much. No, I haven't given up pizza. I've been... Working out, right? Who did this? You gotta answer to me. Do this. You're so sweet. I can't go back. That's awful. Great picture, though. Mom, make you shut up. Stop it, Jimmy. I've got homework. Hey, um, I might have to join the circus. Or run away, or, um, or both. Cool, can I go? Dude. I'm gonna be grounded till I graduate. Okay, okay. Hey, guess what? And somebody wrote on Star's MySpace. They want to meet her. Wow. When? This Thursday, right here at the grill. Can you believe it? starting my favorite play, and we'll be acting it out in class. Oh, this play is so cool. I empathize with the character Juliet. So, so we have our Juliet. Any guys for Romeo? Hey. Jimmy. Jimmy. Anyone? If no one volunteers, I'm just going to have to pick someone.
Hey, um, can you go to church with me again? are gonna give us away. Besides, the guy's looking for a girl named Star. Is that you? No, but... And remember, she has big... No. Uh, nothing. Are you almost ready? It's five. He's cautious, just like us. I'm not cautious. I'm nervous. And hungry. What kind of a stakeout guy are you? Not very good. And don't say steak. You know, I'm... What kind of hat did Star tell him to wear? A blue baseball hat? Oh, man, that's Todd. Oh, what's he doing here? He lives here, remember? Oh, my God. Holy crap, what's she doing here? We'll see Jessica and think it's Star. What if he starts talking to her? She's my sister. She's safer than we are. She's with a bunch of guys. How long are we gonna be in here? Not as long. As soon as they leave. Ahem. <clears throat> uh, taken? time it was. So with all those people around you, you couldn't ask? It was your bike outside the grill. N no, it wasn't mine. It we kept dinner warm for an hour. I'm calling Paul's dad. No, he'll get yelled at big time. You didn't know what time it was? I have some homework I need to do. We're not finished here, young man. How the workout's going? Okay. Hey, can I go to Paul's house tonight? I thought you said Paul's family was living with his uncle. Well, yeah, but they're cool with it. I guess you've earned it. Don't be up late. We're going to church tomorrow. I got three people coming up. I got, I got one. Grenade him, grenade him. I'm gonna go get him. What are you losers one. doing? Are you watching American Idol reruns? <laughs> so, Jimmy, how's school? It's okay. It's okay. I hope you're doing better than Paul. Hey, do me a favor. Do me a favor. You try to send some of your smarts Paul's way. Thanks. Sorry. Sometimes he can be nice. Hey man, check this out. Nah man, you know I don't do that. Let's get out of here. You mean like, like out? Yeah man, my parents are gonna be asleep in a minute. My mom's not gonna wake up till tomorrow and dad will... He's not gonna care. I can't. Fine, then just sit here. I'm going to a party down the street. 
Maybe I should just call my dad. We won't be gone 30 minutes. I promise. Come on. You know some of the folks there. Jimmy, you're my best friend. Come on. Hey, Sable might be there. All right, 30 minutes, but I ain't smoking. No smoking, 30 minutes, I promise. Dude, dude, I thought you said no smoking. I didn't know you meant me too, whatever. I don't know. I do, I hate it at my house. I'm going to this party. You know what, every second I'm not at home is a good one. Cool. Look, you'll have fun. It'll help you out with those guys, you know, you won't be Jimmy. That fat kid at school anymore. Come on. Hey, man. Come on in. All right, wait, he's with me. That's good. What's up, babe? Getting money like it ain't no thing. See me sliding down the strip, they say, What's up, babe? Falling on my grip with the coldest chain. Who are you? I'm Paul's friend. Great. Who are you? <laughs> Jimmy, um, Winterpot. He's busy. Been a cone of cock it back and reload. Everybody want my shine, but everybody can't deal with that grind. Can't nobody else come up with a dope rhyme that'll smash every summer like all the time. Jimmy, what are you doing here? I never thought I'd see you. I'm hey, I thought your mouse contract was locked. Look who's here, Piggy. Is he hitting on you? Are you bothering her? No, we were we were talking about school. Hey guys, Jimster was comparing his boobs to Whitney. He says his are bigger. Oh yeah? I bet mine are. Whitney, 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 Whitney. <laughs> Your turn, Piggy. Piggy wins. Piggy wins. <laughs> I hate you! What were you thinking, huh? How can you be so stupid? What do you think I learned it from? You, my alcoholic parents! I don't need you! I don't need the police in my door! Stop! Let him go! You're... It's great. Now you got your fat friend defending you. Lucky you. Dad, don't. Something happened last night at Paul's? Was his dad such a jerk? Uh, people are mean because they don't like themselves.
Winter Pop! What's wrong with you? Oh, I'm okay. Just tired. I didn't get much sleep last weekend. I volunteered you for a project. Our new student needs some help, and since you're the best in here, I didn't think you'd mind. Who, sir? I don't see anybody new. How about this? Rob Thuman, star quarterback. Oh, no. All right, everybody, turn to page 85. Why wouldn't you play Romeo? I don't know. Maybe because I hate getting up in front of everybody, that's why. Why do you cut yourself? Why do you think I cut myself? Because I like it? Because I enjoy it? I do it because I'm dying inside. Does that answer your question? Think you're the only one? I went to a party last weekend, and everybody said I had a bigger chest than most of the girls there. How do you think that made me feel? And now everybody in school knows about it? Don't talk to me about your problems. At least you're not fat. You don't get it, do you? You think it's all about the way you look? Let me tell you something, Jimmy Winterpock. There are way worse things than being fat. Some of us have scars that can't be healed by running around the block. Grow up, Jimmy! You think you're the only one with problems? Everyone's gonna forget about that stupid party. I thought that you were cool. That you got it. Why was I stupid? The pile of guts was a black blob of flies that buzzed like a saw. After a while, these flies found Simon. Gorged, they alighted by his runnels of sweat and drank. They tickled under his nostrils and played leapfrog on his thighs. They were black and iridescent green and without number. And in front of Simon, the Lord of the Flies hung on his stick and grinned. At last, Simon gave up and looked back. Saw the white teeth and dim eyes, the blood. And his gaze was held by that ancient, inescapable recognition. And nobody knows where he is. Okay, we will. Who is it? Jimmy, I got some bad news. Paul's dad is dead. He committed suicide. Oh my God. And Paul's gone? Yeah. Where, where's Paul? Nobody knows. It's okay if you read this, Miss Pope. My friend Paul is gone. Nobody knows where he is. He ran away after his dad died. They never got along, but I know how much Paul wanted his dad to love him. He used to tell me how they were going to go to a baseball game together. They never did. Now, they never will. He read us a quote one day. Nothing endures, not a tree, not love, not death, by violence. Now I know what it means, and how it feels. The world is different, and I'm worried about my friends. There's nothing I can do about it. Hey, buddy. How about we go for a run? 
might make you feel better. I don't know. Not right now. Well, I'm here if you want to. Um, why don't you invite Sable to church on Sunday? That covers a crack and wall. All right, look, this doesn't change anything. You get brownie points, and I get to pass this stupid class. Well, that's a good start. Come on, I don't want everybody knowing I'm getting help from you. Kidding. I'm not going to college. Listen, we all have something that, that that's hard that we'd rather not deal with. I don't need you lecturing me. I'll go home if I want that. Who are you to tell me things are hard? What? We're not that different, you and I. And you need me. You need to pass math. Let's go, Coach Winterpuck. Give me question one. We got a call from Paul's grandmother. He's in Colorado. Colorado. Yeah, headed west, probably. Well, that's Paul. He always said he would try to get as far away as possible. But there's been an accident. Paul's been hurt. We don't know how badly. He's my best friend. Hey. He still is, pal. And I'm sure you're still his, too. And he's going to need you more than ever when he comes home in a couple of weeks, okay? Hey, Rob. What do you want? Uh, how, how's it going? Fat freshmen are not allowed to talk to me. How's things going with Rob? Great. He's getting better. Failure is an inevitable part of life. It does not mean that we are defeated forever or that we should give up. Failure is a mystery and it is even divine. It humbles us and it makes us more compassionate to others. It often is God's way of leading us to our true selves or to a better position in our lives. How often have you heard someone say, it's a good thing I didn't get that job, or promotion, or scholarship, or whatever? Some experiences that seem like tragedies at the moment lead us to opportunities that we would not have found otherwise. Amen. There is no way that we can know and love God except through the discovery of human intimacy and community. We must open our souls to the love that humanity offers. Every day, every hour, every moment is sacred. 
and we must embrace been? life as if it is both fragile and strong. If we trust to get better. in God, He will turn our failures into success. I know he will you're trying teach to be a good person. How to turn our despair and into people hope, pick on you because of how you look. Pain into wisdom and our jealousy You're the into bravest self person I know, Jimmy Winterbach. And we are all tested. But how you respond will define your life. Giving up is easy. Getting back up is hard. Five months, the boyfriend was the primary suspect. However, recent evidence has led police to arrest Kimberly's counselor, Jeffrey Hickman. I know it was you. What? Star. I'm sorry. I know. We got a test today in math. Yeah, I know. Can we go to the library during homeroom? With me, a fat freshman? Yeah, with you, a fat freshman. Yeah, well, I don't think I can be seen with a dumb chalk. I'm just kidding. Oh, really? Really? All right, I'll see you in the library. If I profane with my unworth... unworthiest hand, this holy shrine, the gentle sin is this. My lips, two blushing pilgrims, ready stand to smooth that rough touch with a tender kiss. <laughs> I quit. These words are screwy. Brian, it's okay. Just try it again. I don't want to do it. <laughs> All right, settle down, settle down. Does anyone want to play Romeo? All right, it's about time to go anyway. You guys think about it. You should do it. Me? Yeah, you, Romeo. Some girls might find you Romeo-mantic. <laughs> Is that even a word? Are you? Am I what? Romantic. Oh, fair sable, your eyes shine like grapes in a Waldorf salad. <laughs> um, Mrs. Pope, Jimmy would like to play Romeo. Um, oh, then, dear saint, let lips do what, what hands do. Okay, that's it for today. Nice job. All right, for homework, finish reading Act 1 and Act 2, and don't forget your test in two weeks. Hey, Piggy! I saw you, Julia, try to kiss you. But you turned away. What are you afraid of, girls? You're not afraid of little Debbies, are you, fat boy? I'd love to kiss her for you. Hey! Did you leave him the hell alone? Go pick on someone else! Actually, next time I see you bother anyone, you've bothered me. Do you understand? I said, do you understand? Thanks. Fat freshman or not, you're my friend. Are you all right? What? Paul's grandmother called. He's home. Well, actually, he's in the hospital. Hospital? My God. Oh, that poor kid. 
we go see him? Tomorrow. They said we should wait. I'll take you over. You gonna be all right? I just, I just don't know what to say. Well, just talk to him. I mean, he's still Paul, just talk. Talk like you always did. You'll be fine. Thanks, Dad. Decided to lose some weight, sort of for survival. Yeah. I guess I lost a little weight too. I heard. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I wish that didn't happen. Yeah, I wish a lot of things. <laughs> Do you want to see my leg? <laughs> So, how's Sable? She's great. Oh, look at this. I knew it. See, I bet it was the counselor who wrote us on MySpace. You'd be a great detective. Investigator Paul Grove here, ma'am. Sorry about my dad. I guess he just forgot how to be a good person. It's time for therapy, Paul. Good timing, huh? Glad you're back. Sable's a cutie, man. If you're not careful, someone's going to steal her away from you. Son at school today. Jimmy? <laughs> okay, okay. I kissed Sable in school in the cafeteria in front of everybody. Is that so bad? <laughs> <laughs> That's my boy. <laughs> <laughs>
So, what'd the coach want? Oh, he was just talking to me about how proud he was of me. How not everybody gets a chance to go to college and play football. Is it a scholarship? A full ride. <laughs> My past. I'm going to college. Dad, thank you. It wasn't just me. to the hospital. Yeah, that'd be great. <sighs> hey, Miss Pope. I can't believe this is my last journal entry for the year. I remember complaining about writing in a journal. Boy, was I wrong. It helped me make it through some tough days. Writing my thoughts on paper has made it easier for me to say things to people. Yesterday at church youth group, I was asked to talk about how I lost weight this year. But what I ended up talking about was how my whole world has changed. Looking back, this has been an amazing year. Not all of it has been good. Actually, a lot of it wasn't. There were times when I almost lost hope, but I'm thankful I had my church, I had my friends, and I had my family. In the end, I realized it wasn't just about losing weight. It was about figuring out who I am. And I learned I had to figure that out myself. When you're finished with my journal, I'd like to get it back. My kids might get a kick out of knowing their dad was a big fat kid. Anyway, thanks for everything, Miss Pope. Sincerely, your student, Jimmy Winterbach.